66-year-old James Whitney Hill was killed by Russian artillery fire in Chernihiv in Ukraine, at least the second American to die there since the invasion began 24 days ago. According to his sister, Hill was a teacher and a caregiver who did not want to leave his ailing partner in Ukraine and died trying to find food and help for others. So I would wake up in the middle of the night and have a stream of like 30-some messages that Jim was sharing things. And um, I always then as he was reporting that the bombing was getting worse, that it was getting closer, it was getting more intense. When I'd wake up, the first thing I would do is check and his message would be, made it through the night, still alive. In another part of Ukraine, a rocket attack Friday was among the deadliest on Ukrainian forces since the invasion began. It's believed as many as 40 Marines at the 36th Ukrainian Naval Infantry Brigade were killed in the south in Mykolaiv. As Russia is intensifying its attacks on cities and towns, a staggering number of refugees are fleeing their homeland. The U.N. estimates six and a half million have been displaced inside Ukraine, and more than three million have fled the country. I heard a lot of uh, like uh, noise, yeah, like it's firework. But then I went out to see on the window, and I see that it's a rocket. No, it's not fireworks. It's it's a war. Vlad Sokol, his wife, and three-year-old son sheltered in a basement for one week. But when the attacks knocked out power, they drove west like so many thousands of others searching for safety. We plan to to send our families uh, to to the foreign countries like to Poland. And with the guys, we are planning to come back and uh, fight. And the Ukrainian President Zelensky continues to call for direct negotiations with Russian President Putin, but an official said Putin is not ready yet. Back to you, Shirley.